A typical ingredient you'll see listed in whey protein concentrate or isolate powders is this thing called acesulfame K. That sounds a bit scary and you may wonder what some unknown chemical is doing in your protein. What it is, is a non-nutritive, non-caloric sweetener or artificial sweetener and it is a fairly typical one to use in a protein powder. The K stands for potassium, so the full name is really acesulfame potassium. As a sweetener, it is about 130 to 200 times sweeter than regular table sugar and comes as a white, odorless crystal. It is not metabolized in the body, but ends up being eliminated in the urine unchanged. Like many products that we are just now hearing about, this stuff was actually discovered and developed quite a while ago in 1967. It was not approved for use in the U.S. until 1988. You've no doubt heard of aspartame and sucralose and of course saccharin, all of which can be bought as standalone products, as in packets. A Cecil Fame K is also sold as standalone products, but it's not as popular as these other ones. You can read more about this via the link provided below. It dissolves easily in water and is heat and acid stable. If too much of it is used, it has a metallic, bitter aftertaste, but it works well with other sweeteners, so it will tend to be blended with something like aspartame or sucralose in order to get the sweetness level desired. The fact that it is heat and acid stable makes it useful in a lot more than just whey protein powders. It's also used in candies, baked goods, and sauces, as well as non-carbonated dry mixed drinks, dairy products, alcoholic drinks, chewing gum, instant coffee and tea, puddings, and non-dairy creamers. The sweetness has a rapid onset, meaning the sweet taste hits you immediately, unlike some other artificial sweeteners, which take a while for you to taste the sweetness. The sweet taste does not tend to linger, though. Is acesulfame K safe? Well, it is considered non-toxic and non-carcinogenic. It has been endorsed for use by the Joint Expert Committee on Food Additives by the World Health Organization and the Food and Agriculture Organization and the Scientific Committee for Foods of the European Union. It is approved for use in over 100 countries. The FDA sets its acceptable daily intake or ADI at 15 milligrams per kilogram of body weight or around 25 to 30 cans of diet soda containing acesulfame potassium. I'm sure that there are plenty of people who will tell you that it will give you cancer or shrink your brain. It is up to you to examine their claims and come to your own conclusions about that. It may be fine, by the way, for diabetes management, but you should consult your doctor or dietitian. Keep in mind that it is always possible for a person to have a sensitivity or an allergic reaction to a product like acesulfame K. If you use whey products or any of the types of products I mentioned above, you are probably going to encounter it, and to avoid it, you'll have to look for alternatives or not use these products at all.